Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well and thank you for watching this clip on evaluating an indefinite integral. Now if you recognize this is the inverse sine of a function, that's great for you. Uh, I didn't recognize it right away. So normally let's just go through the routines of what we do when we have this type of problem. Obviously we have a trigger substitution over here. I'm going to put a 9, radical 9 or 3 in there and then I'm trying to duplicate what I have over here. I'm going to put a 4x over here because radical 16x squared is equal to 4x. Okay. Then this chunk over here becomes my 9 minus 16x squared. So obviously cosine theta is equal to 3 divided by uh, the other way around. 9 minus 16x squared divided by 3. Okay, now that's not what I have, but it's close enough in the form. Okay, so from there I say 1 over this, 9 minus 16x squared. I don't like this 1 because I need a 3 here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this 3 and then times 1 third. I'll leave the 1 third alone and 3 over the 9 minus 16x squared is what I need. So you kind of have to trick the system a little bit and make it work for you. This one becomes, of course, 1 over cosine theta. Okay, so down with the one term. I have, I have this chunk that I figured out. Okay, so 1 over cosine theta. I'm, I'm figuring this out. Okay, let's see what else I need. I have a 4x over 3 is equal to sine theta. And then the 4 over 3 of dx is equal to cosine theta d theta, which means dx is equal to cosine theta d theta divided by 4 over 3. All right, now with those two pieces of information, I'm ready to do substitution for the original one I have, y minus 16x squared. So this one is equal to, let's get rid of dx, that's cosine theta d theta, 4 over 3. Okay, that's a big messy chunk. Hopefully I'll reduce down. Okay, one over this, I'm gonna change it that into three times one third over radical of nine minus sixteen x squared. As you recognize earlier, three over this chunk is what I have. So let's toss all the coefficient out, one third, and then since it's divide one well actually multiply reverse of this is 3 over 4 because this is division over here and the inside I have cosine theta d theta and then I have 1 over cosine theta. Hooray! This one cancels out. Very pleasant. So it's 1 fourth and then I have d theta. Uh, that's it. Alright. It's 1 quarter and then, then now of course I have a theta. And writing in our theta, I can have a sine inverse of, what do I have? Sine inverse of 4x over 3. Let's put our integration constant over there. All right, so that's the final answer. I hope it's clear. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan making learning math fun, at least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.